Okay, good morning everybody. Testing one, two, three, four on the microphone. Looks like we are getting a good signal here and also looking pretty good for the rest of the day where we come to some shower and thunderstorm chances out across the Mid-South. We'll talk about the forecast in just a little bit. We're gearing up again for our Periscope and Twitter side of things and now that it looks like everything is working pretty well here, I'm going to go ahead and invite our Facebook friends into things. Uh, thanks for joining us again on Periscope scope and Twitter for early Sunday morning. We'll continue again to update you on the forecast and take a look and see what's going on across the Mid-South. If you've never tuned in here before, this is our video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and thanking everybody who are uh, joining us on Facebook just for in a little bit. Forecast in the blue bar, social media in the red bar, also up here, also over there. You've got an idea as to what's going on where it comes to plenty of information with weather across the Mid-South area. We don't have, again, a lot going on immediately. We will be looking for more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the course of the rest of the day. So if you have any plans for outdoors, go ahead and take the umbrella with you. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Currently in the Mid-South, we do have, again, some spotty areas of showers for the most part, but we don't really have a lot going on out there. Mostly northeast Arkansas is where we're seeing the heaviest amount of rainfall moving on through from north-central Arkansas, approaching northeast Arkansas this time. Teresa Burcham and Gladys Clark, welcome to the show. Thanks for stopping on by. Diane Etheridge, is it going to rain in Dyersburg? Well, you're getting a little bit of showers up there right now, but we're not seeing, again, a lot of activity right into the area close to Dyersburg. A few spotty sprinkles making their way from west to east, but just not that much going on. More activity up around Troy, Hornbeak, Obion, Woodland Mills into that location. South of I-40 at this time, not a lot happening. We do have a few scattered showers back around the Tunica area approaching from the west, right across the Mississippi River, south of the Mariana area, and a lot more on the way as we look back to the west of us. And we're going to continue again to see the possibility of more showers and some thunderstorms developing out there. This is what it looks like back toward Little Rock at this time. Plenty of rainfall, so if you're heading west on I-40 pretty soon, this is what you're going to have to deal with, with again some wet roadways out there, mainly west of Conway, Little Rock down toward Pine Bluff. More chances of this activity making its way into the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the day. So this is what you're going to have to deal with out there as we get into the rest of the afternoon and this evening. So outdoor activities, please keep that in mind as we watch what's heading our direction. Mars, some very cool temperatures out there. Looking at numbers again back into the lower single digits and even into around the negative single digits out there from the Mars rover. About three days ago, a high of minus 7.6 Fahrenheit, so a little bit chilly there, and a low temperature of negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit. The ground warmed up to 34 degrees, 124 degrees below zero on the negative side of the scale. If you'd like to see more about this, all you have to do is go to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory Curiosity Rover website and find out more by checking on the Remote Environmental Monitoring Station. Good opportunity to see more about what's going on on Mars where weather is concerned. Also post posted some neat pictures of some satellites from the orbiting uh, Mars Orbiter satellite. Great pictures of the clouds and the satellite pictures there, so a good opportunity to see more on that. Edith Billings, man, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much, Gladys Clark, for the very nice uh, words on that. A little closer to home, if you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South, check out our weather bug cameras from around the area at wreg.com slash webcams for more. Checking in on the Mid-South, again, from the weather underground system, we've got, again, temperatures mainly back into the lower to mid-70s to mid upper. 60s and temperatures again not doing too bad for this time of the year but we are going to continue to see again uh, the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out across the mid-south that could cool the numbers off by just a little bit and that is going to help our numbers stay down today now as we go into the next several days that may change by just a little bit more on that in just a little while wide-scale radar from uh, Penn State University's meteorology group showing again the heaviest activity back around the Arklatex and moving our direction but not really in the Mid-South directly outside of those light scattered showers that we have <clears throat> excuse me, taking place around the boot heel and back down into southeastern parts of Arkansas. What are we looking for into the next couple of days? 
Again, the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms as what's left of a, a cold front makes its way back to the north as a warm front. Warm air has been building up over the southwest United States, and that, again, is going to be heading on through uh, over the next couple of days, taking the temperatures upwards, so that could be something to take a look at there. Uh, Teresa Burcham, rain in New York. Your husband is going there, laugh out loud. Uh, not that much going on at this point. Let me see if I can give you an idea as to what's happening here. Again, going back to Penn State's group and showing you a little bit more about what's going on. Uh, New York State does not appear to have a lot. Some north of the Adirondacks and into around the Catskills, maybe a few sprinkles, but looks like most of New York State is not seeing anything in the way of rainfall there. Throughout the rest of the forecast, it's going to be hot and also, again, the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms this afternoon, mainly south of Memphis around northwest areas of Mississippi, southeast Arkansas. Arkansas. So that's where we're going to be looking for the main possibility of problems. Also, the heat is going to be back into the course of the next couple of days. Now, for today, we're not seeing, again, a lot of major league amounts of heat out there. But high temperatures for today will be on the hot side. We'll be back on the mid to upper 80s into the area. But if those clouds are thick enough, we'll probably stay in the lower to mid 80s, and that'll be about it. Chances of rainfall greatest in and around portions of southeast Arkansas and northwestern parts of Mississippi. Heading into tonight, low temperatures dropping to the upper 60s to lower 70s, and chances of rain will stick around 20-30% north of I-40, 50-60% south of I-40 in the dark green shaded areas. Uh, Teresa Burcham, glad he said thanks and a safe trip to you. If you're going to New York City, look up my cousin. He works at Fordham University in the Bronx, so great to have somebody in that neck of the woods there. Heading into Monday, temperatures a little bit warmer back in the lower to mid 80s, and again, chances of showers and thunderstorms out there as we get into Monday. So the kids will need some rain protection for the bus stop to and from school on Monday. Low temperatures Monday night in the lower to mid 70s and isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms basically right on in through the rest of the week. Temperatures will continue to be warm out there and getting even warmer. Mid to upper 80s on Tuesday. Highs on Wednesday closer to normal. We have had a very atypical August for this time of the year. So it's been very interesting to see the temperatures as cool as they have been specifically for August at least, and we'll be looking at temperatures much warmer on Wednesday, and some of those heat index temperatures could be over 105 with all that humidity. So we may be looking at heat advisories from the National Weather Service once again into the next couple of days. Wednesday night, low temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s, very warm, very muggy, less of a chance of rainfall there. Highs on Thursday back in the lower 90s with, again, isolated showers and thunderstorms possible. Outdoor plans, recess for the kids, that golf game, traveling, errands, whatever you've got. Remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Very much on the warm side Thursday night, lows back in the mid-70s, and highs on Friday once again back in the lower 90s, so very much on the warm side over the next several days and not much changing there. What does it look like, again, as we go into around the area close to the eclipse? As of right now, things are improving slowly and slightly anyway. Now, according to this forecast from Weather Underground, things have cleared out significantly, and we're not seeing much of anything in the way of major amounts of problems. Now, my particular forecast does not have that clear skies in there uh, using different computer models. This is good news. Hopefully that trend continues, but we've got several more days until we hit the eclipse. Either way, it is going to be warm with temperatures back into around the lower 80s, uh, lower 70s for lows, mid to upper 80s for highs for the eclipse on next, next Monday. So again, that's what we're going to be watching for. Hopefully that continues out there. National Hurricane Center, again, we have a new tropical depression in the Atlantic, Tropical Depression 8, moving to the northwest, and this could impact the Bahamas, expected to curve back out to sea, hugging the coast of the United States. But if you are heading to anywhere between Miami to New York, this is where we're going to see, again, the possibility of maybe our next storm. This one will be named Gert if it gets a name, so we're going to be watching that, again, with a lot of interest on that. Don't forget to check out more about the upcoming amateur radio class taught by the uh, Germantown Fire Department, Captain Howard Thompson. That starts August 17th. That's available at staysafeshelby.us. And more information, again, on that available from Germantown Fire Department as well. Uh, the rain coming to Millington today. You do have some scattered showers 
showers out there, but as of right now, most of what we've been looking for is just light scattered activity for the most part and not seeing again a lot of activity here, but we've got more uh, Edith Billings man. That's where we're looking for the rainfall coming in over the course of the next couple of hours and it's staying basically throughout the rest of the day. Stay tuned for my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. I'll be on Monday morning with Bob and Josh on AM 730. I got to hop back out on set and get things taken care of for the last segment on News Channel 3 Daybreak. So stay tuned for more there. Questions, comments, concerns, austin.onic at wreg.com. Thanks for joining us on Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter for our Sunday morning weather overtime update and more coming up throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us.